Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Xander's One Shots. We're going to be trying out Prime Arena today, which is going to be a free-to-play MOBA survival battle arena style game. It's kind of like a cross between Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and Heroes of the Storm, from what I can tell. Um, I've had a, a single game just to kind of see how it plays, and I think we're going to jump in and we're going to try out some of these characters. Um, so. Because it is still in very, very early parts of its development, a lot of the translation hasn't been done. But the art style's all there, the gameplay seems to be all there. A little bit of balancing maybe still to be done, but uh, let's hop on in and we'll show how the game's played. Let's go for this guy, Captain Fisticuff. Now it is in um, closed beta at the moment, well, in fact, even like pre-alpha gameplay stage at the, <laughs> at the moment. So there is not going to be too many people actually playing, but it does populate with AI as much as you'd expect from a, a game of a sim similar genre. Um, so to go through our character, I don't know precisely how these end up being weighted. I'm assuming difficulty is an approximation for how hard it is to play the character, but we have various abilities. Um, we've got a passive skill. After three successful attacks, we do 50% extra damage on the next strike. Fist of Fury on our Q key will allow us to punch things. Shooting Star will allow us to charge at them and kick them. That's another uh, another passive. So when we deal damage with these, uh, we get healing back. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to play this guy. I was having a quick look through beforehand. It gives us a little bit of survivability. And finally, if we get up to level 10, uh, we can turn ourselves into a tornado, which would be awesome. All the spinning, punching, and basically like a whirlwind barbarian, but with fists. Uh, unfortunately, I can't click on the other characters to, to show you their general uh, style and stuff. But when you start up the game at the moment, you jump straight in here. There's no intro, there's no tu uh, tutorial. The game is still very, very much in early access. Still... One second to go, let's hop on in. Right, looks like we've got two actual players and the rest are taken up with AIs. We've got our level indicator up here. Um, I've got no idea what that is. I'm assuming that's just like the type of damage that we're doing. Uh, that I think is my ELO rating for the leaderboards. Unfortunately, there's also no direct settings. Uh, actually, no. We, now that we're in, we can get settings. Let's turn that music volume down. Right, so we want to wander around and kill mobs. Fighting time. First blood. There's some mobs. Now what you're hearing there is it's uh, saying that the general mobs that are on the map are actually killing heroes because people are engaging things too powerful. Okay, we're up to level 2. We want to get higher than that. Let's go after these dragons. So charge on in and get the big uppercut going. Oh, there's another hero. We don't want to be necessarily engaging them unless we're actually engaging them directly. Let's activate all of these. Right. Get another punch on them. You're going down, mate. So first kill. That's pretty good. No questions. Uh, no idea what that is. I'm assuming that it's just some kind of... That's definitely something. There's a glyph node down there. Now, glyph nodes, I think, are power-ups. Like, reduce the cooldown of your talents and stuff. Uh, each person comes with a ceremonial dagger, um, which you can use to try and get a ritual kill on a hero. Only a hero, not a regular uh, random mob. Problem solved. But I think it's worth extra score at the end. Let's get this glyph node and see what it does. Some kind of rush. Cool. You know how to fight. 
Man, we are doing all of the damage to these guys. Now this is to level up so that we've got more chance of being able to hold our own in combat. That rush is a huge benefit. Uh, down in the map here. Uh, yeah, let's go after this as well. This may have been a mistake. Let's activate our armor. Yep, definitely a mistake. Backing off. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Creates a region which I'm going to strengthen. Okay, um, so uh, if I just click through this, we're going to spectate mode. Um, there is statistics uh, for the characters, which as you gain levels, they will level up. Um, I never get a chance to actually look at these. I think that these should be visible just in general. Um, you can also bring up statistics for how you've actually done. And if you get like into the top four, it will uh, give you um, an actual position on the podium. Right. Still, we did okay-ish there. Let's uh, let's try someone else out. Who do we want to go as? Oh, he's, he's got that massive, massive shoulder guard. So yeah, we're, we're going to go for him. Pauldron of Plenty. Man, that thing is giant. Probably quite impractical for going through doors, but it's like half armoured, half not. I like the style. So, symbol of faith. Uh, for every successive use of the class talents, we accumulate a charge of faith. Uh, when we've got three things, do extra. Okay. So we've got fragmentation grenades. Nice. Reckless dash. Charge on in. And get some defense. Cool. St and a stun. And our level 10 ability is like a healing light. Okay, so we've got three active abilities for early on. I like the sound of the charge one. Getting a nice shield in there as well. So maybe it'll be like throw grenade then charge on in. One other player this time. And I'm guessing that uh, they are having a bit of a slow loading day. That's totally fine. It's totally fine. It's the nature of playing early access games, unfortunately. I like the look of him. Some kind of desperado quick draw. Bang, 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 bang. I tried her out the first time. Um, she's like an assassin. Um, can get critical hits with all different... Uh, uh, all different abilities and if she attacks someone with her blade and they're low on health there's a chance they're just going to die outright all right we're going to stay here because i think someone's going to spawn in here no they didn't all right there's the first people so grenade and charge on in damn that hammer doesn't actually exist until it exists that's kind of cool Oh dear, someone else is coming in. I don't know if we're actually in a good place to do this. Oh, no, no. They're, they're going to take us down. So close. So close. <sighs> Untapped potential. All right, let's 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 get back and we'll queue up for another one. Uh, I want to give this guy another go. We haven't really done... Oh, that's the pistol guy. Uh, yeah, let's let's try that. It's got a very high attack. Uh, obviously, we're going to be at range. Uh, so, boldness. We accumulate one spell. Speed, one charge for every successful attack. Spend two charge every two seconds if we've not dealt. So we need to keep that up. That's kind of like our wrath. Um, we deal additional damage for each point of wrath if we're on native terrain. I don't know what native terrain is. Uh, deal 200. Ooh, cool. <clears throat> so 
So that's some kind of um, backflip thing, I think. Molten Barrel? Yep, good. That's a sustained thing. Mark of the Hunter puts a mark. Their speed is reduced. We get extra boldness and... Hmm. If they run away, they take damage. And finally, Passion of the Hunt. Expends all boldness for five seconds. We lose six. Wow. And we deal... That looks like a lot. I don't know who it is, but... It looks like a lot. Man, if we can get all the way up to level 16 and uh, yeah, that gets even better. Okay. Yeah, it was, it's fine, it's fine. So we're trying to get boldness and then just keep Keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. All right, looks like it's just us against AIs, so we've got more chance of winning if we're careful about this. That's probably my boldness. Where's the target? It's my turn. The beasts triumph. The beasts triumph. Don't move. That works. All right, so it's like a evasive fire thing. So, so that, yeah. While we've got molten barrel activated, we do more damage, but um, we use up boldness. Okay, we need to kill more things, especially a hero. Now you're mine. Cool. We'll grab this. What's that? Similar stars. Breaks trees. Oh dear. We didn't get the kill on him, but we can at least mop up some of these. Molten Barrel again. Don't move. Yeah, we should just about have this in the bag. Now you're mine. Just about. The beasts triumph. Right, we're gonna heal up. So we're up to level 7. That's going alright. Now, this is the edge of the arena that you can see down on the minimap. That's kind of like the blue area in uh, Battlegrounds. Alright, we are Don't let your draining our boldness. So let's like get that recharging. Where's the target? I'm too good for this. Excellent plan. Right, up to level 9. I'd say this is actually going quite well. Catch this. Don't move. I do not like that. Damn little My zappy pleasure. things. Eight heroes left. Let's get this glyph nose. Oh, jeez. No time for jokes. I'm too good for this. We should be able to finish him off. There we go. Heal up there. Cool, and now we can do our Passion of the Hunt, which I think is... Well, the altar is recharging. It's 
definitely our big skill. It's also very dangerous. We're not going to be getting any ritual kills this time through. My pleasure. But the zone is moving in a lot closer. Uh oh, there's a lot of them there. Alright, let's uh, back off. Oh geez, I don't think we can go this way. So close, so close. I think if I knew more what these, uh, these abilities down here... Ah, oh, restore 10% health, symbol of destruction. That's interesting. Forest cloak, dimensional gate. Still, we made it to second place. That was the final one. Uh, but overall, I think we did uh, quite well. Let's uh, drop on back and we'll try someone else out. So that's who we lost to. I'm assuming she conjures... A whole bunch of uh, of stuff. Let's try it. We can't read it. Well, I can't understand what it says there. Uh, if anyone else is watching and does read, feel free to pause, have a look at the various skills and talents. Also, they need to introduce um, scrolling for those because I've noticed on some of them there's a lot of text that goes in but not a greater, you know, you can't actually read it all. The beasts triumph. First blood. The beasts triumph. The beasts triumph. The beasts triumph. The beasts triumph. I think that gets me a new one every now and then, yeah. Okay, well that's uh, kind of cool. Right, that's one of them gone. Yeah, just a little bit, but I think we've got this in the bag. There we go. Right, we need to heal up a little bit. Let's wait for a moment. Don't think we can go through those. What does this do? Ooh, that's interesting. Beasts triumph. We can come back and focus on these guys again. Get some more experience. Where are they? Ah, there was one more left. Beasts triumph. Level five. Take your change out of that. Okay, so the zone has moved in. We are in the red zone. We want to get this guy killed and then get out quickly. We're not too far away from the edge, though. There's no visual indicator on the ground. Hmm. How are we supposed to head around? Can we head around? I think we're going to have to head down and... Go through the portal. We can't get through the portal. This could be problematic. I think we may actually be trapped. Be hot. Get some. Yep, we are definitely in trouble now. Where are they? Ritual kill. 
So that ritual kill there was someone actually uh, attacking with the ritual dagger, which is awesome. No, I think we're going down. <laughs> so it pays it it pays to you know watch the map and see where things are. Um, if I go back to spectate mode, there is a big map that you can bring up, um, and you can uh, navigate around it a little bit. So we can actually watch what's going on with the remaining ones. Um, I have not learned my way around this map yet. Yeah, with it still being in early uh, early development. Um, I'm sure they're going to be introducing other maps as well as time goes on. Let's try... Let's try Mr. Freeze. Let's try Mr. Freeze and see how he plays. So, once again, something that I don't understand. <laughs> Some kind of charging thing. Some kind of ice shard thing. A passive fist. And some kind of sustained ability when we reach level 10 that gets better when we get to level 16. Okay, I will restart recording when we are about to jump into game. Yeah, I think if they were to add in like a friends list so you could play consistently against your friends, that would be a very cool development. I do like the art style. I think that it's uh, it's very well put together. Although there's some inconsistency between the actual portraits uh, and the uh, the hero design. They've obviously had a number of different designers working on it at the same time. Right, that actually just locks him in place. Okay, level two. That charge skill seems quite effective. Yeah, that's that's not working for us. Let's go. Oh, geez, these fast. Stay where you are. We will use this rush to get away. And I have absolutely no problem with tactically retreating. Ah, oh, I misjudged that. Yeah, I get the feeling that we're not massively powerful, but uh, if that healing keeps happening at about the same time, then oh, geez, that's gonna hurt. Once again, stay still. Is my fight. He's level 8. Maybe we could try it. Slide. In the ice. Certainly not two of them. Oh, jeez, they're both 
like they're going up against each other, sort of. No, leave me alone! No, no, we are not powerful enough for that. This character seems awesome, but at the same time, he just struggles so much. The coming cold. And this is just at the very, very edge. Let's get a bit more experience while we're here. I mean, we do reasonable damage, but uh, this is my fight. We need to heal up. <laughs> Massive ice fist. I mean, I know we're gonna die, but uh, we we put up a reasonable fight there, I think. Man, he's got all kinds of buffs, life glyphs from me, and all kinds of stuff. We got, we made it to rank four, uh, which is basically the lowest of all the human players. Who said you can't wash blood off with blood? Long live the one who shoots first. Let's, uh, yeah, let's try this guy again. We'll jump back in with the Desperado. Oh, there's a whole bunch of us. Okay. Gazor Mix. I mean, 1808. They are obviously going to be quite experienced in this. So we're using dual pistols. Fine. I wonder if there's like a, a rock, paper, scissors style system for... Who beats who? Either way, I like the fact that our chap is just, you know, standing behind a fight and just like going to shoot someone in the back of the head. That's pretty much the way that I think the gameplay should go. Now this time I'm going to try and get our boldness up to uh, to maximum. Oh come on, because all mixed right. Catch this. I'm too good for this. Man, they are really going at me. Where's the target? First blood. Just like the beasts that. triumph. The beast. There we go. Level two. That was a little bit risky the there. Ooh. Excellent plan. Made it through the oh geez, the someone already. The beasts triumph. Nice to make your The beasts triumph. <laughs> we killed each other. That's uh, that's kind of funny. 
So we did get a kill. Uh, let's back on out. We'll, we'll jump back in with the Desperado. Right, so if you've got more than 10 charge, then you have boldness, and boldness increases the damage of survival instinct. It increases the damage of molten barrel. That's good. I, I like that one. Increases the damage of Mark of the Hunter, and I didn't get to see for the final one, but I'm assuming it increases the damage all across the board. I did like that mutually assured destruction though, that was kind of cool. Where's the target? Catch this. I'm too good for this. Right, let's back off. The beasts triumph. First blood. The beasts triumph. No time for jokes. The beasts Good triumph. Idea. So if we step away, I think they take damage. Nice to make your uh oh. The beasts triumph. My pleasure. The beasts triumph. Fang doesn't really want to engage, thankfully. The beasts triumph. The beasts triumph. But we are going to have to head back this way. Almost no boldness, but given we ran away, that's not that surprising. Been looking forward to it. Okay, we've got boldness now, so we can activate our ultra gun barrels. Or just do more damage with our evasive fire skill. No time for jokes. Don't move. Trial. Catch this. Don't let your weapons Excellent plan. Anyone down this way? There's some people out the back. I'm too good for this. Now you're mine. Just like that. They're exhausting me somehow. I wonder what that actually does. My pleasure. Nice to make your acquaintance. And also, do these crystals do bad things? I'm assuming they're not brilliant. My turn. Let's turn off those barrels for now. The beasts triumph. Don't move. Bullseye. <laughs> Level six. My pleasure. I'm too good for this. Don't let your weapons over me. No time for jokes. Come on, let me kill him. There we go. Come back here. Damn them running away. And I don't know which way they went either. That's annoying. I almost had them. Well, they didn't come this way. And now I've got no boldness. Nice to make your Don't let your weapons overheat. Excellent plan. Nope. Swamped on all sides. <laughs> Okay, well, I think this has been a good demonstration of the game as a whole. Um, this has been Prime Arena. If you are enjoying these one-shot videos, then be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more Prime Arena in the future, then let me know. Obviously, there is a hell of a lot more development that needs to happen. 
but um, I'm willing to dive back into this. It's, it's quite good fun. Um, either ways, um, I will be back with another one shot and we'll be trying out something completely different. So I will see you soon.